Hello and welcome to future YouTube viewers to this video. Uh, first video streaming from the new place, okay? Um, connection's a bit iffy, but we'll get there, okay? We'll work it out. Hopefully this is gonna come out good. Basically, what I'm covering today is this person, Classically Abby, who my understanding is Ben Shapiro's sister. So yeah, hopefully should be quite an interesting video. Um, we're gonna watch this one. It came out a little while ago and normally, listen, normally I don't cover um, older videos, but I mean, it's Ben Shapiro's sister. Do you know what I mean? I heard about some business on, um, on Twitter, something to do with her feet or something like that. I'm told, I'm so I'm told, so an, an anonymous source tells me. So anyway, let's get into this, okay? Hang on, let me turn all my stuff back on. How do I? No, chat isn't on. There we go. Get this all switched on. There we go, perfect. Okay. It's Squidpunk. Squidpunk is the source. Okay, let's, anyway, without any further ado, it's only six minutes long. Let's watch this video. If it's good, we might watch another one. Let's go. Still need to sort this out, obviously. Ah. Professional. That's me. Professionalism is the game. Chud Logic is the name, okay? Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be talking about why I decided to come out as a conservative in- Oh my God. She sounds like Ben Shapiro. She does look like when you do those um, apps, which change your gender, it looks like someone's done that to Ben Shapiro. Jesus. And also, listen, <clears throat> as someone said earlier, as someone said earlier, right yeah 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 coming out as conservative it's such a ridiculous meme like conservatism is like the status quo right like it's it's not like where it's not like a big a big deal you know hey i'm a conservative oh that's cool like no one's gonna care it is extremely eerie it's like we're in a parallel universe, do you know what I mean? Anyway, come on, let's get on with the video. Oh, and sir. So Hang on, I need one of these intros. Look how clean that is. It's just nice and clean, simple. I need one of these bad boys. So in my last couple of videos, you'll have seen that I have come out as a conservative influencer. And I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about- <laughs> Who is she influencing? The only reason she's as big as she is is because she's Ben Shapiro's sister. These these conservative these attractive conservative women are like ten a penny. Do you know what I mean? There's so many of them. The only the only difference is she's not she's um got dark hair. She's not she's not got blonde hair. Although I can see a little bit of blonde here. I wonder if you become like a conservative pundit, your hair just turns blonde. Maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe that's why there's these little bits of blonde. In a year's time, she'll look like Tommy Lauren or Lauren Southern. <laughs> About why I decided to do that, because I know that there aren't a lot of influencers in this space who talk about their politics openly. They definitely live a certain lifestyle, but they don't just embrace and say what they actually believe and what their views really are. But it was really important to me that I actually come out and say straight out, I'm conservative. The reason I felt this was so God. important was because I had God, her voice is uh, quite loud. I'm gonna have to turn it down a bit. Sorry, sorry. It's hurting, it's hurting my ears. Maybe it's just too loud. I've been afraid to say outright that I am a conservative for a lot of different reasons. The first is that I am an artist, I'm an opera singer, and in an artistic space- Wait, it's... wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can I just confirm? This is definitely Ben Shapiro's sister, right? I've seen, I've seen like pictures of her who, who people say is Ben Shapiro's sister. This person looks similar. It's Abigail Shapiro, yeah? She's an opera singer, apparently. Okay. 
conservative equals no view except status quo. You're not an influencer, phony. But yeah, exactly. This conservative influencer thing. <laughs> like, what? who are you influencing? To what views? To just, like, cookie-cutter status quo views, right? It is very strange, very unnerving. Like I say, it's like we're in an alternative universe. It's very difficult to express that you're conservative without A, being afraid that you'll lose jobs, or B, being afraid that you'll lose friends. A lot of the time in artistic spaces, I've- Listen. I'm pretty sure that like, I'll be corrected if I'm wrong. You can come out as a conservative and it will probably be okay, right? My, my wager would be that it's perhaps some other views that you espouse that perhaps lead to you losing friends and lead, losing jobs. That's all I'm saying, okay? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> there's, a, there's a very high chance. There's a very high chance that it's pro possibly some other views coming to the forefront that might lead to your cancellation, right? found that people who are on the other side of the aisle feel totally comfortable sharing their liberal views, which, hey, if you want to share your views, that's totally fine. But no one on the other side of the aisle could respond. That to me is the real problem. I think that the best conversations and the most fruitful ones are the ones where people are able to say what they think without being afraid that they'll really upset someone. Of course, that doesn't mean you can just be willy nilly and say things that are insensitive or rude, but really more to the point of let's talk about our ideas. And if our ideas are different, that's okay. Maybe that's even a good thing. It was a really big lesson. I love, I love the way that it's like, it's always presented as like just a difference of ideas, right? Like, oh, we disagree on tax policy. Or like we, dis we disagree on, you know, the particulars of certain government aspects of government re regulation. Where we all know, listen, we all know the, conserv the conservative opinions that get people, you know, losing friends over, right? Also, if you're a conservative and you support Trump, and Trump is implementing policies that hurt your friends, right? That like, I'm not just talking about like an, an extra, you know, like if, if say like a liberal or something got in and there was an extra few percent on your million dollar income or something like that. I'm not talking about that kind of hurt, you know? I'm talking about, listen, I'm talking about like um, putting in policies that are like an existential threat to your existence, you know? then, I don't know, it seems fairly legitimate that someone might turn around and go, I'm not sure if I could be friends with you. You support someone that is actively out to, like, cause cause me harm based on, like, my immutable characteristics, right? So, yeah, it's going to be difficult to... It's going to be difficult for me to come to your barbecue next weekend, all right? Knowing that you're voting for my destruction, essentially. for me when I was at the Manhattan School of Music because I was there for three years and it wasn't until I came out and said that I was conservative that I found out that there were actually more of us than I thought. But we had all kept it secret because we were all afraid of expressing that we actually had a differing viewpoint. I think it's really important for conservative women to have a space to be open and honest about what they believe. For so long, it's felt like conservative women have really had to keep all of their thoughts under wraps so that they don't get in trouble from their bosses, their friends, or their teachers. And I think conservative women- in I'm sorry, this, this self-victimhood. I just, oh. Listen, I, d I do genuinely try and be sympathetic as best I can with certain people. You know, I try and be sympathetic to, like, just not, not like the propagandists, but one of the more conservative people. But, like, I just, this, this idea that, I like, being terrified to come out as a conservative, you know? I don't know. It just doesn't really add up for me. Maybe, maybe, I, I think like, I think that like under Bush, under like Bush, for example, it probably wasn't as big a deal, 
but it's only because Trump is president and he's absolutely unhinged. That probably adds a little extra flavour to coming out as a conservative, I guess, like I was sort of saying earlier. God, this video is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this is she she is she's a dollar store ben shapiro basically that's i mean it make, makes sense it's like his sister right and she's just she's from the seat from the sounds of it it's just riding his coattails one interesting thing to note she's not really bringing anything new to the conversation or new to discourse she's literally just repeating the same old cookie cutter conservative talking points right some ways have it harder than conservative men. If you don't believe that women should have a choice when it comes to abortion, a lot of women will say that you're insensitive. Well, I would say that we're not. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's incredibly insensitive. <laughs> oh my God. I love that. Just because you think women should be incubators for unborn children, that that somehow makes you insensitive. How ridiculous. Okay, we're going to go with the, oh, but what about the fetus nonsense now? No doubt. Let's see. Insensitive. We care about the child, the baby. And conservative women are very often not taken seriously. I mean, that's, again, such a, a typical talking point. It's not a baby, okay? It's not a baby. Most abortions happen when it's just like a little lump of flesh, okay? Something of nothing. The dominant ideology that has ruled for centuries and still controls most industry and governing is somehow the victim. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. It's honestly so ridiculous. It's so frustrating to hear these. Yeah, it's, it's absurd. It's the self victimization. Seriously. One of the things I found fascinating is that conservative women can't even find a community when they want to because no one feels comfortable voicing their views. So that's why I decided to come out and say I was conservative. I don't like living in fear. I don't like making choices. Living in fear. Oh my God, what on earth? <laughs> You want to talk about living in fear? Imagine being a trans person and your parents are transphobic, so you can't, you can't come out. That's, that's living in fear. And, and the area that you live in is very transphobic as well. That's, that's living in fear. You know, allegedly, allegedly like, not being able to tell people your conservative views at work. That's, that's the equivalent. That's living in fear as well. Hey, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Thanks to you, Mama. The connection seems to be okay for now, but we'll see. Hey, random crit. Yeah, this victim mentality is, is so pernicious. It's so, you know, because, because they'll present themselves. They'll present themselves as a victim in the same way that like an LGBT person is a victim, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, look how white she is. Do you know what? She just looks like Casper. Based on being afraid. So instead, I wanted to come out and say, yes, I am a conservative. Why does it matter that I'm conservative if I'm an influencer? Well, my conservative views come prior to everything else. Everything that I talk about, everything that I believe in, everything that I choose to wear, or even the makeup that I put on, it comes from a conservative and classic perspective. When I say let's be classic, to me that- <laughs> What's she talking about? Does she just mean she uses a bit less makeup? Is that, is that what it is? That what it is? <laughs> what, what is she talking about? Oh. Yeah, I don't put on that degenerate lefty makeup. <laughs> That's a socialist dress. <laughs> yeah, where's her toga? In fact, listen. Oh, hey, Riley. How's it going? Good to see you here. Listen, if she really wants to go classic, like... Why is she not wearing a fig leaf like like from the Bible? Like that that is isn't that what they wore? Is didn't didn't Eve wear fig leaves? 
Where's the, Abby, where's the fig leaves at? Okay, if you're actually going classic, if you're going biblical. Yeah, classic homo sapiens just don't wear clothes. That's a lifestyle. And for me, that classic lifestyle is built on my conservative lifestyle. My goal for Classically Abbey isn't for it to be an only conservative woman space, but a place where conservative women feel comfortable voicing their views. So if you find that you're on the opposite... You can voice your conservative views. Listen, look how many, look how many, conser look how many conservative YouTube channels there are. Like, you can literally voice your conservative views on any platform, okay? Any platform, anywhere, anytime, okay? <laughs> I mean, the government is conservative. Like, what? What? What is this nonsense that's being spoken right now? Yeah, yeah, I just came out as totally normal, boring and cookie cutter. Sim easy. ...side of the aisle, or even just a moderate. I would love to have you here if you are open to the idea of having conversations and discussions with people on the other side. That, to me, is an exciting opportunity that we have here. A place where women from all different sides and all different viewpoints really have a space to converse without being afraid that you're going to lose a friendship. With all of that in mind, I did create a locals community so that we could have that space built in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, if, you, if you're a minority and you victimize yourself for legitimate reasons... That's wrong and bad. You shouldn't do that. But if you're a conservative and you victimize yourself for that, despite there being no victimization, that's good, actually, five head. <laughs> oh. Well, well, yeah, they're trying to appropriate the legitimate concept of LGBT people coming out to their parents, right? because they want to paint themselves on the same level, on the same level of victimhood as that. And it, it just, it's, it's just a nonsense. It's completely ridiculous. Yeah, I know. The bootstraps go out the window when there's a chance to self-victimize. I want to have some sort of filter so that people who don't share these views of openness and open conversation can't just come in and flood the comments. I want this to be a space that really is safe. What I'm hoping to do is that for... I want this to be a space that is safe. Do you mean a safe space? Abby. Are you talking about a safe space there? Incredible. Incredible lack of self-awareness on display. Literally just describing a safe space. Now, now listen, to be fair, I don't know what Abby's view on safe spaces are, but based on my experiences, based on my, um, uh, based on my knowledge of conservative thoughts, okay? I'm pretty sure she'd be against them on the whole, okay? those who have a paid subscription will have private live streams that will encourage us to have a conversation where I'll be there and you can comment in and I'll respond to questions and comments and you guys can talk to each other there as well. And another thing I'm really interested in looking into is doing video chat calls with my premium subscribers where we can have a group chat, 25 people, 50 people, however many people, where we're really talking about these ideas. And 50 people group chats. <laughs> yeah, she's got no, she's got absolutely no clue what she's doing, okay? She's got absolutely no clue what she's doing. Oh, hey, thanks, I'm really important. Hey, look at that little tick. I'm really important is the real deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah, she is basically charging for a Twitch chat. We're getting good cop, bad copped by the Shapiro twins. Wait, are they twins? Oh my God. 
I know, it's ridiculous. Oh, hey, Breakfast Detective. Yeah, I'm really important. It's really based. <clears throat> um, yeah, so... <laughs> She t- wait 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 listen this is all absurd but can we just can we just highlight how ridiculous the idea of a 50 person group chat is like that would be completely impossible like what is she thinking she's just thinking about the money she's thinking 50 people times 10 dollars blah 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 blah. do you know what i mean she's looking at the dollar signs she's not thinking about the logistics a 50 person group chat would just be an absolute cacophony of of un un you know, unknowable sound. It would be impossible to handle that. It really would. All of Twitch politics in one panel. True. (laughs) And we can actually talk to each other face to face. This whole thing makes me so excited. And it's been a goal of mine that's been in the works for a long time. I really love the idea that conservative women and women across the aisle would all feel comfortable sharing their views and talking about these ideas without fear. And that is why I decided to come out as a conservative influencer. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. If you are a conservative woman that has been silenced and hasn't talked about your views, I would love to hear how you feel about this. Listen, listen, I'm sorry to re-bang this drum. Conservative views are not silenced. Conservatives are in control of the government in the US and in the UK, where I'm from, okay? Well, obviously, she's in the US. The idea that conservative views and stuff are being silenced and people are afraid to, to, to speak out is the most absurd concept you could imagine, particularly when the conser- when Republicans are in charge of the government. And Donald Trump, a turbo-conservative, is president. D- d- I mean, how do people not see through this? How do people not put two and two together and be like, hang on a sec, that sounds ridiculous? Even conservatives... Yeah, they literally never shut up. If you look at social media, they're everywhere. Think of that we live in a social government, we don't. Our government's very conservative, or we'll have a lot more freedom, yeah. Wait, there's a candle in a cage? What was that sound on a necklace? Mum. Where's the, where's the cage candle? I can't see it. And I'd love to know how you yeah, like you to be there. a part of this community. What other stuff you oh, think there. a premium subscription? Oh, there, there, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what this is? You know what this is? Yeah, you're right. That's signaling to the audience that any any male subscribers will be subjected to intellectual CBT, okay? should have I would love to know and if you are on the other side of the aisle please continue to comment I love to hear your guys points of view especially if it's respectful <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching yes civility politics get it in there yeah get that take that civility politics box on your bingo card okay we, we got it in there oh my god this is uh This is incredible content. I'm loving it. Watching today's video, please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to get notified of all my new videos. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and follow me there. Please head over to classicallyabby.locals.com if you want to see more of this content, support my channel, and be part of this community. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my God. Is that her singing? I'd have thought opera would be quite a conservative sort of community, no? Maybe I got it wrong. What an actual woman thinks of Taylor's. What does she mean by actual woman? Okay, let's watch a bit more. That was fun. Did I change the stream title, by the way? Oh my god, let's have a look at her husband. <laughs> I need to see what her husband looks like, okay? Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know, I just presumed it would be a bit more conservative because it's all old singing nonsense, isn't it? <clears throat> Hello!
Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing a review on Netflix's what? The Last Kingdom. <laughs> I like that little... So Jacob and I just recently finished Jacob. watching the four seasons that are available of the last... I'm going to be real. Jacob looks very much like a soy boy slash cuckold, okay? Let's... Can we be honest for a second here, okay? He looks super scuffed. <laughs> he looks like a scuffed Vosh, don't you think? He looks like a, he looks like a scuffed Vosh. <laughs> Look, listen, listen. He's on meth. <laughs> listen, can I be real? Can I be real for a second here? This is the look of a man that has to watch his wife, um, you know, has to begrudgingly watch his wife get gangbanged by five dudes on a Saturday night. Okay, <laughs> that's what. That, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not making any accusations. I'm just saying that's what he looks like. Okay. I'm not being crude. I'm just, I'm just stating my beliefs. This is free speech. This is a free speech zone, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay? <clears throat> Last Kingdom. And we really wanted to talk about it with you guys. So... <laughs> yeah, maybe that wasn't a candle. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Listen, I don't want to watch all this. Let on hear his voice. A bit? Yeah, so in terms of how we decided to watch this show. Oh, yeah, he sounds like it too. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I, it's, I'm not going to watch 30 minutes of, um, you know, scuffed Ben Shapiro and scuffed Vosh talk about a film, all right? There must be some more political content here. Okay, listen, this looks like a good one. It's only a short one. Okay, let's check this out. Social media, celebrities, influencers, and YouTubers. He's a conservative. He's a conservative, but only because Abby's made him be a conservative, okay? He's politically cucked, okay? Really, really he's an anarcho-communist. <laughs> Jacob is a conservative soy boy incel. <laughs> God, imagine, imagine, imagine being married to this, to this boring, uh, boring person. Like, holy shit! I don't know. Like this, this sort of um, aesthetic. It kind of reminds me of my ex, to be honest. These candles here and the lavender. You know, what's that meme of like where it's just a chair and a TV and it's like I can't believe men live like this like this is the opposite of that meme okay just a load of like superfluous nonsense in the background like what's, what is she doing with that lavender she lives in Pinterest yes that's such a good meme <sighs> okay come on let's watch this video let's let's listen I'm really interested to hear how how under a conservative government there need there needs to i don't know maybe we're going to talk about hollywood being liberal or something i don't know so much of the time it feels like one worldview one position is tolerated many of them don't say outright what their politics are many of them do none of them need to and none of them will say what i'm about to i'm a conservative influencer <laughs> listen i'm not going to say it but like <laughs> Okay, the meme would be, none of them would say what I'm about to, and then she'd just say the N-word, and that would be the end of the video. <laughs> that would be the best meme, okay? She's so brave, yeah, I know. She's so brave coming out and spouting her establishment normal opinions. Incredible stuff. Clean, I like that. Being a conservative woman in today's day and age is not easy. You'll be told that you have internalized misogyny. You'll be told that you don't what? care about. Wait, that was. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous one I've ever seen. Literally, it just scrolled by and like what? It was even wasn't even a second. Told that you have internalized misogyny. You'll be told. It was two seconds. You, you couldn't. I couldn't even. I couldn't even see the article. <laughs> I love, I love the fact that like she's like you'll be told you've got internalized misogyny and literally 
It's not even like a tweet or something of her telling her that. It's just this article flying by at light speed. You don't know where it's from. You don't know what the context is. You don't know what's being said. You can't even pick out what the article is. What even is this article? Listen, she's not... And this art. Listen, listen. This article isn't even saying you or <laughs> this person has internalised misogyny. It literally just says... Seven sneaky ways internalized misogyny manifests in our everyday lives. It's, it's not even accusing anyone of that. It's just, it's just laying out. <laughs> what? No one's being accused of having internalized misogyny. It's just, it's just showing how it manifests in our lives. There's no direct accusation here. Oh my god. <laughs> they just they're so they're so um self self absorbed they'll read an article that's like broad and aimed at every, uh, you know everyone and they'll be oh this is attacking me <laughs> yeah, just this end misogyny <laughs> okay sorry i just have to point out how absurd that was okay misogyny you'll be told that you don't care about other women's well-being you'll be told that you aren't a real woman but none of that is true conservative women are the backbone of american society we prioritize marriage and children support our husbands and support ourselves oh wait hang on <laughs> he looks like he's being he looks like he's being he what you don't see on the back of his jacket there's a red laser dot there's a red laser dot <laughs> forcing him to be there and get married. <laughs> Any primers out there? You'll be told you aren't a real woman. Oh my god, Demon Mama, I didn't even think of that aspect. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. She even had a video titled, This is what a real woman thinks of some Taylor Swift thing. And at first I thought, is that a reference to trans people? But I thought, nah, that's too, that's too on the nose. But now she said it again. Hmm ourselves we teach our families the strength of women both inside the home and out we help our husbands grow not by obeying their every word but by bolstering their strengths and tamping down their weaknesses we live with values that encourage people to be better we fight for what's right even when the world tells us that everyone should do what they want regardless of consequences we stand hand in hand with men not against them and we shouldn't have to <laughs> She's acting like if you're not a conservative, like men are against women. We exist as an extension of our husbands. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, yeah. This woman is... Uh, like I said, she she is a scuffed Ben Shapiro. But obviously she's Ben Shapiro's sister. Right? To remain silent about our views, like I did for years you've been forgotten and left behind as magazines and movies decided you're outdated you've been told that the best way to be a woman is to act more like a man you've been told that you don't care about wait 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 who is who is telling women to act more like men who 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 says that like did you know Matilda from the movie Matilda's cousin yeah yeah I know yeah I heard that it's pretty wild this is on at the same type of stuff my church would peddle 20 years ago no way that's wild career women are expected to be more traditionally masculine in attitude that's because of like uh, patriarchy and toxic masculinity, right? That's just you know, it's n <laughs> ever notice every conservative belief contradicts another conservative belief. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's continue. Come on. About women because you care about a child in her womb. So, so, so it's not accurate to say that like it's the system. It's a systemic problem. It's telling women to act like men, right? The systemic problems that conservatives support. Right? Like, listen, people on the other side, lefties, 
they they don't want they they want everyone to just be able to be themselves and get through life and not have to adhere to like a systemic a system um in order to just earn a living or whatever you know been told that sleeping around is empowering but waiting till marriage is ridiculous and what's this the only people that may fair, be fairly accused of telling women to act like men are corporate girl boss writers true oh my god the girl boss thing so annoying you've been told that believing in god is passe you've been silenced about your views no you haven't anymore. let's take back the culture so women can be women let's talk about reclaiming your femininity pure let's lies talk about dating with purpose Let's talk about finding balance in... You can date with purpose now if you want to. Literally nothing's stopping you. No one's stopping you. If you want to date with the intention of meeting someone to settle down with, go for it, okay? Listen, plenty of fish is full of women like that. Who's in charge here? <laughs> Hey, JC. Yeah, this is a massive meme. All of this is an enormous, dumb meme, okay? Listen, if you want to date... Listen, if you want to date with purpose, you can. There's no one stopping you, okay? Career and home life. Let's talk about being an awesome, loving wife, but also being the kind of wife who makes your husband a better man. Let's talk about how to dress fashionably and conservatively. Let's talk about how to do your makeup for a night at the opera, not a night at the club. Let's talk about life from a conservative perspective. Oh, no. And let's... Oh, damn. Did it shut off for a second there? Okay. Okay, that might happen. I think we're back. Just refresh, okay? Sorry about that, everyone. Not be afraid to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to get notified of all my new videos. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and follow me there. Please head over to classicallyabby.locals.com if you want to see more of this content and support my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Devin. <sighs> Okay, yeah, I paused it. So let's just finalize there before it goes wrong again. <laughs> Obviously, like I just... It's fine, you can have Vosh's face, okay? <laughs> yeah, Comrade Jock. You need to hide Vosh's face, it's fine. It's only if I... I don't even know what the rules are on that, I need to double check. Anyway, obviously... Oh, what? I've got 72 viewers. Where did you all come from? Holy... Is that right? Damn. Welcome, everyone. Um, can we leave she speaks better than Ben? Yeah, I'd say that's probably true. Oh, okay. Maybe it's wrong. Uh, anyway, listen. 42 is cool as well. 42 viewers is brilliant when I just intended to do like a test stream. So thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Absurd video. Um, yes, yeah, everyone might have dropped off when the connection dropped. So obviously, like, just an absurd video, ridiculous, like, self-victimization complex. Literally, you can... You can literally, like, say whatever you want. Say whatever conservative opinions you want, and I promise you, you'll not, you'll not have a problem with it, okay? And that's it. End of the video. <laughs>